Hi everyone, in this video my mom is going to show you uh, how to make this card cardigan. Uh, it's a cool cardigan. I love it. Uh, my mom good crocheting. <laughs> I just came to the school and she make me wear this. <laughs> it's a cool cardigan. Thank you. You like it? Yes, I love. I like. I show it. Show it. <laughs> Look at the cardigan. Turn back. Turn back. <laughs> Came this side. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> uh, you are welcome. Okay. And uh, tell them to subscribe to my channel. Yes. Um, subscribe. 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 Subscribe and <laughs> like. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and I want to uh, show you the yarn. Uh, it's car uh, topu lake piraye. Can you show us? <laughs> yes, car topu lake. It's not color. It's gray. Uh, I use the gray one, uh, but uh, I use all of them. So <laughs> now I'm showing you this uh, one. Uh, this. Color is great. I love uh, yellow, orange. Uh, it's a uh, uh, cream, I cream? think. Yes. Yeah. And uh, green. Eh, a kind of green. Mm. Can I start? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, um, like. No, 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 no. I want to, uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, mine is 130 meters, uh, and I use five of them, five ball of yarn, and I made this one child size, but you can make it uh, for yourself. I uh, show you at the video, uh, and if you are ready, we can start. At first, I want to show you this. I made a part like that. Uh, I start with uh, 132 uh, chain, uh, but I didn't count my chains uh, as I start. Uh, so I have 131 um, uh, half double or slip stitch. <laughs> it's mixed. I advise you to have an even number of uh, stitches so you can uh, divide it uh, more easily. And I made 20 rows like that. Uh, I want to show you again. Just like that. That's enough for me. There is a opening here as you see I will add more rows here later uh, now um, I will just make the back side but at first I want to show you how I made this one you can measure yourself or your child or anyone you want to make this uh, cardigan uh, from here to there again Okay, just measure here. Use one of your cardigan. Now I'll make a little sample, as I said before. Make a slip knot. And chain as you want. By the way, uh, mine is uh, 40 inch long i just make chains uh, 40 inch long uh, 
I made chains for this one. You make slip stitch and half double slip stitch. I told uh, it like that. Uh, I will show you now. Uh, we start with slip stitch and half double slip, slip stitch and then we finish with slip stitch again. I made here eight slip stitch and then make this part then eight slip stitch again. But this is child size. If you are making this for an adult, uh, you can make 10 uh, slip stitch. Now this is just a demo, demo so uh, I will make less than that. Um, just turn your uh, chains like that and you see these back loops. I will make my slip stitch from here. Just keep that first one, insert my hook at the second one, take the yarn and complete your slip stitch. That's the second one, third, fourth, and fifth. I will make five slip stitches just for now. And then yarn over. We will make half double crochet, but it's not a regular half double crochet. Insert your hook here. Yarn over and pull it through and then don't yarn over, okay? Just take this loop and pull it through from these two loops. I call this one um, afterable slip stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook here, grab the yarn and pull it through from these two loops. And just repeat this uh, until you have uh, your last five stitches. If you are making a, a, this an adult, it's ten and for a child, it's eight. I will keep doing it. And here is my last five stitches. And I will make slip stitch again. One, two, three, four, and five. Make them loosely. Just turn your work chain one or chain one and turn your work <laughs> and then we will make five slip stitches again but only back loop insert your hook to this back loop take the yarn and make a slip stitch make it one more time and that's third And that's the fifth one. Now we will make half double slip stitch again from the back loops. Take the yarn, insert your hook these back loops, take the yarn and make a half double slip stitch. Keep doing like that. I'm at the end and then I will make five slip stitches here, insert my hook from the back loop, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. Just chain one 
and make it again. Now uh, we will make a half double slip stitch again from the back loop. And for all these rows, we will just keep doing this. Just complete here and make five slip stitches here. Just make it for um, 20 rows or uh, how many rows you want. Uh, just use your um, cardigan as I said before. Now we will divide this one uh, two part. I told uh, I have 131 stitch. Um, I think that is 130 and uh, divided it's um, 65 uh, for one side. Now I will make a 65 uh, stitch from here. Starting from the first stitch I will make slip knots, slip stitch, sorry. That's the fourth. Oops. And then I will make half double slip stitch. Just keep doing like that. I made the 65 and then chain one, turn and keep repeating the same pattern. Just make half double slip stitch and then make eight slip stitches here, turn and keep doing like that. Um, you can find the uh, measurements like that. It's uh, 60 inch long and that's almost seven in seven here. Uh, we have two inch left. Okay, seven and seven is uh, 14. And for the 16, we have two inch, inch left. Uh, then we will make um, this part, this back parts uh, for two inch long. I can make it one inch more, three inch long, cause I want to make a little bigger than this one. Um, you can make it like that. Just complete this back side and then we will make uh, the other front side. I made this part for three inches long. And now I will make the other front side. Now I will just make uh, 65 chains. Uh, sorry, 65 plus one chain. You know the, how many stitches you left here, so you can make your chains uh, like that. I make 66. I made my 65 chains and turn it like that, starting from the second chain. Make eight slip stitches one two three four five seven and eight and starting from here make half double slip stitches Go all the way like that 
and came here. I came here and starting from here I will uh, make the same pattern I will just go like that and when I came here this part I will make 8 slip stitch and turn and 8 slip stitch and um, back loop only half double slip stitch and 8 slip stitch back loop only again I will just keep doing like that and make um, same as I do this part and then see you complete this both sides then I made uh, one uh, sleeve like that I start with 45 chains it was uh, 14 inch long chains uh, and now it's almost 13 inch and 9 inch a little longer than 9 inch and I will make uh, this one more time Make a slip knot and chain uh, 45 and complete your chains. Uh, you will measure uh, it by using your uh, cardigan again, but don't forget these shoulders, um, like here, you can wear it and see it. Um, it's not finishing here, it's finishing almost here and uh, measure your arms from here to there okay when you complete your chains turn your chains like that skip first one insert your hook at the second one and make eight uh, slip stitches Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then make half double crochet slip stitches. Complete this row um, with half double slip stitch like that and then turn uh, make half double slip stitch again and eight uh, slip stitch here we will just um, start from here and finish here okay opposite sides when we complete this one two uh, we will join these two part together now I will show you how to join the sleeve uh, that's the right side of my work and that's the wrong side just fold it like that and my loop is here insert my hook at the first stitch take this loop chain one insert my hook same stitch and this back stitch take back loop only make a slip stitch take both loops and back loop only and both loops back loop only I came to the uh, half double slip stitch and keep doing like that 
I want to show you how it looks like. It's like that. It looks nice uh, like this way, but if it's too hard, you can uh, sew it by using a tapestry needle or yarn needle. When I complete join this part, I will put it like that and use stitch markers. Um, I'll put them here and then starting from here or starting from here I will uh, join these parts uh, just take the both sides of your um, half doubles and uh, slip stitch and join it like that these two parts uh, or you can sew uh, them uh, complete this and then we will um, just leave the arm hole as I said and uh, we will uh, sew the arms. Now we will uh, join the sleeve uh, to the body like that. If you want you can uh, use some needle just uh, uh, put one here. I don't cause uh, that's a little sleeve as for child as you know but if you are making this uh, for an adult version uh, use one and uh, don't worry about the uh, wrong uh, sewing okay we'll just take this like that I leave the a tail I insert my needle from here and here and then I will take this um, stitch back loop and here I'll just keep sewing like that. If you know a better uh, technique, you can use it. Curse. And then um, I'll uh, sew the same uh, place at the same place time to time. Because I want to make um, a durable, uh, durable uh, sewing. I hope you can understand <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> I'll just keep doing like that and sew this part. Uh, I'll, then I came here and we will make. Uh, the ribbing. I completely joining the sleeve and I will hide this yarn. I want to show you. Just insert your uh, needle like that. And then insert it uh, opposite side but not uh, at the same place. Okay. We can cut this tail. Uh, now uh, we are at the right side of our uh, cardigan. I actually like to use uh, a little uh, crochet hook for the ribbing part. But now I will use the same crochet hook. Uh, I try um, and see how it looks. Uh, if it looks bad, <laughs> you can use a little uh, crochet hook. I will start from here. 
and make double crochets. I will start with a standing double crochet, uh, just yarn over and insert your hook here from the first stitch. Take the yarn, yarn over and pull it through from two loops, yarn over and pull it through from the second two loops. And I will make eight double crochet like that. Four. Oh, it's too hard. <laughs> Seven and eight. Now we are at the uh, half double slip stitch. Uh, we will make the same thing, uh, but we will make them uh, this loop. You see, there is two loops. I want here uh, look good, so I will use uh, this loops. Insert my hook if I can and make a double. I will make double crochets and when I came here, I'll see you. Now I'm here and by the way, it <laughs> actually looks so nice, I can use it like that. But um, I will show you the back post double uh, crochet and front post double crochet ribbing. Now, uh, as you see, there is no stitch. And I try to make one double crochet here and one double crochet for this. Stitch one here and one here. Uh, you can think like uh, one for uh, every row. And we will look. I think um, that's okay. If you don't like uh, this, you can make uh, two here and one here. I like this one. And now I will turn it like that and make double crochet into that back loops. When I came and I will see you. I complete the first row and I want to show you how it looks. It's actually <laughs> a bad cardigan. <laughs> I think I like this um, bigger size things. Uh, I think it looks uh, good uh, on child's or a uh, woman's too. Now chain two, we will make back post and uh, front post double crochets. I will skip this first one and into that second one, I'll insert my hook from here and front again, front to back, back to front around this double crochet. Just take the yarn and make a double. Take the yarn and insert your hook from back to front this time and front again. Take the yarn and make a double. I'll make it one more time. And like that. 
I'll just make this uh, for um, around this cardigan. I think I will make only one row uh, and it's this one. Uh, if you want, you can make uh, a few more row, one or two more row. Uh, I will uh, complete this uh, row and see you. And I made my last back postable. And here, there's a stitch actually, because we start with a standing double crochet, but I hide the tail so uh, you can see it. But there's a stitch. <laughs> I'll insert my hook here and make a half double crochet. Chain one for the secure, and it's finished. If you want to uh, make uh, more rows, just chain two again and make back post to back post, front post to po front post. Just keep doing like that. And that's it. Uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> if you like, don't forget to push the like button. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. Please. Uh, Since Crochet is my Instagram address, uh, and you can reach me anytime you want from here. Uh, and uh, that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.